What do I like about Cataclysm? It's direct, it's easy, it's a no-brainer to perform. It's easy for your spectators to follow. The, the photo prediction at the end is an absolute killer. Your spectator will have no way back. They won't be able to backtrack the effect. They'll believe that you've predicted absolutely everything. Cataclysm, in my mind, is one of the most direct prediction effects ever created with a pack of cards. Amazing, I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm going to show you something that's uh, a little bit different to tell you the skills that a magician needs to work and do his magic. The first one is being able to memorize the order of a deck of cards. The second one is being able to predict the future. I'm going to try and show you both of those now. Now the easiest way to memorize a deck of cards is to write numbers on the back and then try and remember which card is at which number. So, say for instance this, the two of clubs, we know that one is number 36. I've memorized that. There it is. This one, the King of Spades, I know that one is number two. For instance, there it is. This one, the Seven of Diamonds, I know that's 24. So we memorize all of the cards in the deck in this way. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys to pick one, and it can be any one of these cards at all. So could you name one, any one at all? The Six of Spades. Let's take a look. There it is, the Six of Spades. That's number one, the first selection, and we'll leave that there. Could, uh, could you name one for me? Totally different cards. The Three of Hearts. The Three of Hearts, great, no problem, let's have a look. The Three of Hearts, right there. We'll pop that down. And last but not least, could you name one for me? Anyone at all, totally different. Uh, the Ace of Clubs. The Ace of Clubs, no problem. Ace of Clubs, where are we? There he is, the Ace of Clubs. Now, it'd be pretty impressive if I could tell you the numbers on the back of those cards, right? But like I said, another hard thing to do is to predict the future. And I picked two, three cards out of a deck this morning and took a photograph of them. And the weird thing about this photograph is no way. I took a picture of the back and the numbers that are on them. And the strange thing about these numbers is... <laughs> there we got number 17 perfectly matching in the middle. <laughs> and last but not least, fingers crossed, if it's 23, you're all going to go absolutely wild, clapping, cheering, screaming, screaming, cheering. Number <laughs> 